And today's fun quirk, the caravan's decided it doesn't want to connect to the car. The tow bar's right under it and it's just not popping on and going green. I think it has something to do with this. I think when you pull this lever, it should move more. But why isn't it? That's my theory. So I'm not sure how much CRC to use because I've also heard there's some pads up there. And when I've previously had a squeaky tow bar, I was told the style you shouldn't. Um, add grease to stop that sound so I'm going to be very careful where I put this oops something clicked let's try that Well, it's here. It doesn't last very long. Because it wasn't that long since I did that last time. <laughs> come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> it went on! I was starting to wonder what I'd do if it wouldn't. I think, I think it was something with a black handle it wasn't sitting right so you, did you hear that noise it clicked into place again oh yeah I'm not stranded that's good well, I remember I'm gonna check check my water and my oil Right, now that I've got that sorted out, I'm finally ready to hit the road. Slightly later than planned, as usual. And not really looking forward to this next drive. There was normally a road through a gorge, but there's too many landslides apparently, and it's, it's basically permanently closed now. So there's this alternative route called Saddle Road, and I've heard mixed reviews about it. Some people say no problem, it was fine. Other people were saying it was a bit painful to drive so take my time see how it goes
So this is this is the campground office. <laughs> so the system here is you go to the through the petrol station and you put down deposit and you get the key for the toilets and showers. And I'm gonna have that shower finally. It's I don't know what time. It's probably about two or three now. <laughs> Part of the reason I'm staying here two nights is apparently the weather's taking a turn for the worse. I'm just gonna sit it out here. So I finally open the toilet door and see that my poor chili plants haven't survived this trip. I suppose there were sharp corners and hills over the saddle road. I think it's going to be okay. Might just try and get some of that dirt. And I've been meaning to add a bit of duct tape to this one that's broken and I haven't got around to it. So this is the motivation to get it done today. So you need a key here. Well, nice and clean. Did have a think. It is a bit funny that I'm willing to stay at next to recycling centres in a busy road just to have access to a shower. <laughs> Maybe I just need to fix my caravan shower. Since I was looping back in on myself on this trip, I thought I would stay a couple of nights near where I lost my um, wheel spat and see if I can spot it today just on the off chance it has been it's been a couple of weeks now so chances are very slim but I'm gonna try well I think I found the bit of gravel I pulled over onto it doesn't look that rough I'm surprised it did any damage really it's just nothing much to it really now the question is can I spot the spat so I've just passed the site where it happened and I think I've actually spotted some plastic I'm gonna have a look well that's part of it Where's the rest? I might have found two other parts on the other side of the road. <laughs> wow, it's in bits. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Here's another part. Well, I found quite a lot of bits scattered all along the side of the road. I'm curious how much I've actually got. It'll be like a jigsaw puzzle. I was quietly hoping that I'd actually find the whole thing in one main shape, but this is definitely in bits. So after finding all the bits of the wheel arch, I thought I'd just have an explore. This is towards where the gorge road is, which is currently closed because they keep getting um, slips. But this was, uh, this was just before the closing sign. I had heard there was a hike in this area. I'm doing a mini loop. There's kind of like two short loops on either end and then an epic hike from one end to the other. Which I'm not going to do. <laughs> well, not today. They've actually done a really good presentation at the start and it kind of tells you a bit of the history. The Kiwis at the start seemed like a really hardy bunch. Where do these chickens come from? I feel like this children's playground is more a setting for a horror movie. It's a bit spooky.
Oh, this is too hard for me. It's, a, it's seriously in too many pieces. It was truly ripped off. A huge thank you to my patrons. I really appreciate your contribution. And a huge thank you to my top patrons, Alan and Pauline. Thank you guys.